It is 5.45 and time to take your sweet tooth on a stroll down memory lane. Why not? Tim Mazzell has found a place to make that happen. He's at Southampton checking out Charm Me Sweet. Good morning, Tim. What's your favorite old school candy? Ooh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. My favorite old school candy. Uh -huh. You know my go-to candy is hot tamales. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But my yeah, old right. school candy? Oh, I, there's so many. I like so many of them. You remember the marathon? Yes, the Curly Whirly. Yeah. It's now made by Cadbury. <laughs> there you go. Yes. See? <laughs> Brittany Bryan, she's the owner of Charmy Sweet. She knows what we're talking about. Yeah, Marathon was a candy bar that was kind of... Twisted it, caramel it, dipped in chocolate. Twisted yes. caramel dipped in chocolate. <laughs> Boom! There it is. And you've got all kinds of classic candies here. Yes, I do. T tell me about some of your favorites here that you have. Mm, the Zagnut and the Fifth Avenue are some of my favorites because I like Butterfinger. And the Fifth Avenue is essentially a more peanut butter version of it. Gotcha. And the Zagnut is more of a crunchy coconut on the outside instead of chocolate. And it's, it's a good refreshing taste. People may remember the whatchamacallit, but you went even deeper. There's another version. Yes, there is. It's peanut butter version called a thingamajig. Yes, there you go. I like that deep knowledge there. It's uh, way too much candy knowledge. <laughs> How did you get into a candy store? What made you decide to do this? Mm, you know, I had a lot of jobs where people were just angry all the time and as manager and they come up to me with problems and disappointment and, you know, they come back and they come in here and they leave happy, you know, and I wanted to have a job where people actually enjoy it and leave happy and it's, it's a good Good thing. I like it. You love it, and you love that you're able to feature some St. Louis folks. we got some St. Louis yeah. candies over here as well. So we have the Switchers Licorice and Cherry Mash made in Missouri, and of course the Ghost Pepper Hard Candies made here in St. Louis. They're not that spicy at all. Very well balanced. And, and, and you, even things that you've, you've given to people that you're like, look, this, is gonna, this, this may not be the best. Mm -hmm. They still love it because... They do, yes. Yes. It creates and, uh, memories. It does. It does. Like the double salt classic licorice up here, one of my most hated candies in here. <laughs> it's a holiday favorite because you just pass it around and everybody makes such a terrible face because it's essentially a salt lick and they're like, no, this is horrible. It's like um, when your brother says, here, smell of my dirty sock, you know? <laughs> That's exactly what it yes. is. Uh, it just brings people together, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. Uh, tell people where you're located. Um, 4915 Macklin Avenue in the Southampton area in South City, St. Louis. And we're over here across from Tom Bass Automotive and right next to Julie Malone, the art studio that's been here like forever. Got to come see it. It's yes. charming sweet. We're going to show you more all morning long right here on Fox News in the morning. There is plenty more to show you. Oh, wow, they have a lot there. I see the Mallow Cups. I like those. You like those? Uh -huh. Okay. Good and plenty. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like good and plenty. Those are good. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Tim.